Hi there. How are you all? Good, thank you. If they're too long and stuff, it, it would, I, I don't know, I don't have long ones to heat up. Is this where I would pay? Sure. Over here? Yeah. Actually, I was going to ask, can I your record player is uh, yeah, oh yeah no worries do you know if it works by chance no i can't oh wait a minute let me see oh there's gonna regular plug on. i'll <laughs> check and see no worries thank you
I think I'm ready whenever okay. you are. This is what I ended up with. I got two bags and I think it said five a it piece. Is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now let me just take a look. Okay. Oh, that's dip on something crunchy. Oh. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Larry had everything out. Yeah. Ouch! Oh me. no. <gasps> it's there, whatever it was. Uh, trying to put these with your clothes. Oh, you thank break. you. <laughs> now I've got to get them home now. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Okay. And oh, you get the one with that. Um, we'll do forty even. Are you sure? I'm sure. I think it is. Bless your heart. Gives me. It's the humidity, right? Like it's real intense. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll take it in steps. No, where are you? Where you at? I am that silver Subaru that's set right there. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So here is everything I picked up at today's yard sale, and I paid a total of $40 for everything that you see here. Plus, I also got multiple pairs of basketball shorts for my little dudes. Uh, so they're not here to show you guys, but just so you know, they were also part of the deal. All right, so very first thing I grabbed was a pair of brand new with tags Carhartt jeans, 40 times 32. Uh, so these should do fairly well considering they are new with tags. I haven't looked up the comps recently, but I have sold used ones for like 15 to 20. So hopefully these will do better. I also have the good old trusty uh, vintage Tennessee Vols uh, jacket that I pick up almost everywhere I go and sells so well for me um, around this time of year. So this is a hooded one. It has Vols spell out down the front and it has some cool work on the sleeves as well. No big like Tennessee spell out, but at least it has the Vols on the front. That should do nicely as well. Hopefully around, I don't know, maybe like 45 or so for this. And then we have a vintage Tennessee Volunteers uh, graphic sweatshirt as well. Again, these usually go for me for around 30 to 35 just all day long. So that's all the money that I spent basically made back on those items plus some tidy profit. And everything else is just kind of extra. So uh, let me show you what I got. I don't know why I put this in. I think I was just like intrigued. <laughs> so teeny tiny little picture frame there. There's just like a love me love my cat little vintage piece. Again this is Etsy fodder. It will sell probably around Christmas time for around $12.95. I got these two uh, mugs. I just thought they were so cool and like 1970s. Um, what is the brand? Royal Crown Teardrops? I don't know anything about these but I have one here in this colorway and another piece of the set in this colorway as well. I see a tiny little scuff there. It's not a chip. It's just sort of off of the coloration but I'll just have to point that out in a listing just kind of thought they were cool and then speaking of thinking they were cool same with these so these are just decorative plates very very like 1990s early 2000s so we have celestial sun star and moon and these kind of pieces where again they're very 1990s celestial astrology tarot these are all kind of keywords that i tend to play with with these kind of items but this aesthetic has been selling so well for me recently i've been saying that for ages i know but it's still selling well for me and so i'm continuing to pick it up right now i grabbed this as well this will only go for around 20 to 25 i think it is working and it does have the majority of the sheets inside it's just so cool so it's a world of disney light up drawing desk obviously See, this is vintage i would say probably 70s or 80s um, and then it came with all of these uh, guide sheets with all of the classic characters we even have like robin hood uh sword in the stone bambi just a whole whole bunch of them original insert and the desk itself which I, like i said is working so again i could probably get around 25 or so for this i paid five i think um but i think my kiddo who's super into art is actually going to take these for a spin and just use these on his tracing board for a while and then i might circle back around and uh resell it after all it's always nice to enjoy the items a little bit though before you have to resell them perk of the job i also grabbed this for five dollars it is a vintage uh, jigsaw puzzle it is obviously disney map of the united states i do need to put it together and see if it's complete haven't looked up comps but really i wanted to use this for homeschool more than anything i just thought it'd be a fun way to go over the maps and stuff and all of the capitals um but i do think it's really really cool so i went ahead and grabbed that as well 
this will be a flip, I think. Again, I just think it's kind of cool. So Tennessee Homecoming 86, and it's all cross-stitch. Uh, it's a very specific audience, obviously. I just love these kind of older pieces. I think they're really, really cool. I love that somebody put some, like, heart and soul into it, if you know what I mean. When I got there, somebody was buying out all of their American Girl dolls and clothing. A lot of it was Vintage Pleasant Company. So, so you know, good for them. I'm glad that they scored those cool things. I hope they enjoy them. Obviously, I would have liked to have picked them up myself but uh, I don't begrudge anybody anything. I do hope that they love them. I did find this one piece, like a little straggler. Um, so this is a vintage Pleasant Company, I think from around the 90s or so. It's a little sort of snowsuit with a little matching hat to go with it. So that will probably sell, I imagine, for around 15 or so. I also grabbed one pair of women's Timberland Pro, uh, I guess like sneakers, shoes, whatever. Um, they are used, but very, very gently used. They are in really, really nice condition. I'll give them a little clean up with a Mr. Clean magic eraser and they will look good as new this i have absolutely no idea what it is um i kind of suspect it could be pleasant company but i i don't know it, it doesn't say anywhere on it, so it might not be essentially it's a vintage like dolls uh, trunk like a clothing trunk so it has this and a little drawer these pieces in here are all like baby doll clothing again vintage very very 70s and stuff but they don't seem to have any particular branding on them so i will probably just donate those kind of pieces and try and sell the trunk just as like a nostalgia piece really but it's cool because it says like homeward bound yellowstone national park it has these metal handles which i think are really kind of cool you know it's just kind of a fun piece so we'll see if there are any takers for this and lastly i picked up this which is a jvc uh camcorder the compact vhs camcorder i still need to test this i paid ten dollars for this technically um it does have like all the insert and the battery charger and the battery and all that good stuff as well and um, if it's working i can't quite remember what the, i'm gonna put them here i'm gonna put them here the comps were decent enough for me to take a uh, gamble on whether or not it was working and if it doesn't work i can either part it out like just selling the battery charger independently sell it for parts or just redonate it all right you guys and that is everything from today's yard sale i had the best time picking through this yard sale i really did i really enjoyed myself i love finding some of these older pieces like hidden treasure and it was just a blast as usual if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you want to come along with me to more yard sales then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video and you never miss a yard sale as usual if you're looking for a friendly facebook group to ask all your reseller questions then you can check out mine link down below called thrift nice and i will catch you in the next one bye